You're crazy, fool. There ain't no water up there. Huh? Maybe there isn't. But we're up here today to go down a little deeper. Unfortunately, I kind of forgotten that I had broke my only digging shovel that I have here. The rest of them are up at the mine, or rather, out in Alder where we live when we're doing the mining tours. So I gotta dig it with a square point. So you'll pardon my flailing if uh, some of those roots take a little longer than normal. Let's find out if there's water in them there hills. Or if I'm an idiot, and I'm frequently an idiot. Well, that's somewhat disappointing. With a square point, I really couldn't make the hole big enough. I can barely chop through a tangle of, I don't know what plant that is, but it's tough. Barely chop through it. And at this point, uh, the hole's not big enough. I can't get a scoop anymore. So I guess, I guess we're done. We're only down about six inches farther than the auger went last time which means a revisit and I'll be back up here again with an extension on the auger and we'll go down four more feet. I don't know, the idiot thing is looking a little more likely. Another day, another hole. So there's where we left it and I just couldn't go any deeper. So I got the post hole digger back with the wee extension on it, and we're gonna go down. Fingers crossed, yeah. Fingers crossed that I don't go down three inches and hit rock, because if that happens, the dream dies here. But still, I'm hoping I'll go down a little ways, and it'll just get wetter and wetter and wetter the way it has been. Thus, justifying my theory of an underground river. Remember, Lush tropical forest in the middle of a desert wasteland, and then wham, it stops. With the fluctuations of water level, it doesn't make any sense that the stop line is that rigid. I, we still have that wall of bedrock. Still have that wall of bedrock that comes down, and I believe that we got us an yet unknown underground rock feature that's channeling that water off. Guess we'll find out, huh? Well, that boys and girls didn't take long. Of course this thing is just eating itself. And, uh, you know, because it's soft pore sand. It's just eating itself. However, what I can tell there is an actual noticeable flow down there. I wonder if you'll be able to see it. So there is, there's a, a measurable flow. I guess the answer is I'm dumb and often wrong, but I still don't think I'm wrong about this. I got a measurable flow across a seven inch hole. Once again, tropical rainforest by upland stone Montana standards. Flows 
green, sword ferns, salmon berries, birch trees, aspen trees, awesomeness, green, lush, everything is super fantastic, and then nothing, nothing. So something happens basically right here, which is kind of why I picked that spot. I believe that due to the rocks, everything is being funneled, and you can see that rock ledge right there. Everything is being funneled right down to this point, and right over there is the farthest most sword fern, and then nothing. I believe I've got an underground river. I believe that it comes out up there at some ungodly rate because it's sustaining all of this greenery right here, even though we didn't have rain for almost four months. I've got pools of standing water up there. I've got what amounts to pure beach sand down here. I had to be super careful with as mountain as that. Ooh, that water's coming up too. I wonder how much artesian it's gonna push. With this kind of soil conditions, as soon as I hit water, it wanted to start sloughing off, all right? I could easily end up with a big slump down in there and possibly trap my auger. And I don't wanna lose my auger. I use my auger. So I didn't wanna lose that down in there. But I was able, going really fast, trying to outrun the water to some extent, I was able to get that thing down about another foot, maybe, from where that water level is right now. And I just heard it scrape on stones. I don't know why, I don't know where, I don't know if it's gravel or if it's bedrock. I, I suspect it's some big stones, um, which is where my real water's gonna run. But yeah, I just heard it scrape on stones and then I got it out of the hole before it would wanna try to collapse on me. I will probably spend a few more, well, a little longer, trying to bail that out. That is just grabbing sand off the top and plopping it over here, okay? Just back and forth, back and forth. And over time, that will at least make this hole down in the bottom super gigantic. And then maybe I'll be able to get a better look at it. I was really, really hoping to have the backhoe up here this year, but it needs uh, some pretty serious swing cylinder rebuilding. That's that case that I picked up. Um, 530, 540, something like that. Hood says 430 tractor I think is a 530 regardless I'm hoping to have that up here but the uh, the swing cylinders are just it's just a constant pissing stream of hydraulic oil and even if I was willing to dump that much hydraulic oil in it and I suppose I would in an emergency I don't want it up here gallons of hydraulic oil in this is probably not the best way to start for your own interest trying to force the auger down into the gravel there I wasn't able to pick up much but I did pick up that Ooh, excuse you I was able to pick up that Which, upon reflection, appears to be a root. A rotten. Yep. A root. Darn, I thought I'd come up with a pebble. So I haven't been able to bring anything to the surface. It has a definite sulfury smell to it. I don't know why. It's probably, it's probably the decay of iron oxide. I know that there is some way in which iron loving bacteria eat, eat iron, and you can see the, the red in that soil, eat iron, and then they, I don't know, they, they poop a sulfur smell. I believe that's the science behind it, but yeah. Whatever is down there, it's kicking the auger hard off to the side. So there's like, there's, there must be a big flat rock and it's going down at an angle because it's just kicking that auger hard. I think I'm asking to lose the post hole digger if I keep pushing it. Sun's behind the mountains. 
Gonna call this a day, gonna call this a success. Hot dang. But there you go. Internet. I dug me a six inch, seven inch hole. Then I dug it out as much as I could with a shovel. And then I dug another seven inch hole. And I'm down there. I probably had the tick of the tip of the auger over seven feet. Uh, but the water level I bet is five foot five, six foot maybe. Two meters, you know, in communist units. I know, I know. You ain't got no water, son. But uh, it does got me some water. I think I done got me lots of water. I wonder if there's like a cave system. That'd be cool, wouldn't it? To find a big old cave system. It's the wrong kind of rock for it, but still, it'd be way dang cool. Whew. Obviously, the next step will be some sort of heavy equipment. Get it in here, cut up these pines. These are actually really solid. They died in the fire, I think about 12 years ago. But these, these are still really, really solid for some reason. There might be some firewood there, but get that road right there opened up. But it's, it's going to be a long time, I'm afraid. It'll probably be next season before, maybe not, but it'll probably be next season before I can get heavy equipment up here. Unless I'm willing to rent a machine. That's tempting. But you gotta go 90 miles to rent a hoe here, so. It's gotta be really tempting. Yeah, there's water. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs>